Welcome back to my series on how to use shortcuts inside Apple Notes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a shortcut that is similar to the one in the upper left corner that you see, except instead of choosing a photo that I've already taken, I'm going to use the take photo action to take a photo immediately, save it in a note, extract that text, save the text in a note, and I'll show you how to make sure that the photo you take is not saved in your camera roll, start by tapping on the plus sign to create a brand new shortcut. Remember that this new shortcut will have to be given a different name if you have a shortcut like I do that has a similar name to rename your shortcut so that the name doesn't change based on the actions that you add. Tap the downward facing arrow inside the shortcut and choose rename and then type your name. I'm going to change the name of this shortcut to get text from your photos to make it different from the one I talked about in the beginning of the video. Notice that it's also a different color tile. I will also show you how to add a shortcut to the home screen at the end of the video, so stick around for that. Once you've got your shortcut named, tap on Done. To dismiss the keyboard. And then you can start adding your actions. The first action will be one called Take Photo. This will take a photo with your camera, but the photo will not be saved to your camera roll. Keep that in mind. Tap Done and place your cursor in the action field. You can type add action to add the first action, take photo. The action says take one photo with the back camera. You can change the number of photos and the camera that your device uses. But in this case, I want to use the back camera. So I'm going to leave this action as it is. Next, I'll place my cursor in the search field one more time. And I'm going to look for the action called Extract Text from Image. Place your cursor in the search field and type the word Extract, and it should pop up on the screen. Notice that the second action was attached to the first, and automatically it knows I want to extract text from the image called photo. This is the one photo that this shortcut will take using the back camera. And once again, the photo is not saved to the camera roll. The next action we need is create a note that contains the photo you took. This will ensure that the photo is saved to your device. Tap where it says body and tap select variable, then choose photo from between the first and second action. Just tap the word photo to choose it and it will appear inside the body field. If you leave the folder option blank, your note will be created in your default notes folder, whatever that is on your device. Now that your note is created with your photo, you need to append or add that text to an existing note. I'm going to type the text action before using the append action. I'll explain why, so keep watching. Did you know that you can place text in a text box, but you can also place variables by name? The first variable I'm going to place is the current date. This ensures that the note that's created is named with the date on which it was created rather than new note, which is the default name for a new note in your notes list. So you're going to choose current date from the top of the keyboard in the variable selection area. Then you'll tap return for two or three lines and choose the variable called text from image. This is the default variable that contains the text from the photo that you will take. Your text box should look like this. Since you've already got a note with the photo that you took in it, 
You don't need to create a new note with your text, but you need to append the new text to the bottom of your note so that the text will appear underneath the photo. Place your cursor in the search field and look for the action that says append to note. Make sure you choose the one with the Apple Notes symbol next to it because the Shortcuts app allows you to use a couple of different note-taking apps. So make sure that the Apple Notes append to note is the one that you select. Just tap on it to select it. Now you can simply add the default variables to the append action and have the text from your image added to the note. The variables from my shortcut appear at the top of this list. There are four of them that I have created. They are the default variables that contain the information the shortcut needs. So you want to append the text to the note. Make sure that you apply those variables in that order. The text refers to the current date and the text from the image that you extracted. Do you want to select choose icon? The color tile is fine. You can change the color. You can add a symbol. This just makes the shortcut look better when it's added to the home screen, which I'm going to do near the end of this video. Once you've chosen your icon, tap that arrow one more time and choose Add to Home Screen. This puts the tile on the home screen as a mini app so that you can run this shortcut directly from the home screen without going into the Shortcuts app. Notice the shortcut icon on the home screen in the preview window. Close the Shortcuts app and go to your last home screen that contains your apps. And there you will see your shortcut icon. To run the shortcut, tap on the icon to open the camera. The camera will pop open. Take a photo of whatever text you'd like. I'm using a post it note as an example. Tap the photo button and then choose either retake or use photo. If you tap on use photo, you'll be prompted to give the shortcut permission to save the photo and the text in a note. Tap on always allow. Tap always allow one more time. And there's the new note containing the photo as well as all of the text contained within it. You can edit the text if there's a mistake. Just place your cursor in the text and make the changes you need. I meant to see deleted messages are saved in a folder. I guess my writing's not perfect. Is the photo saved in my camera roll? As you can see, the answer is no. The photo is only saved in the note that was created. This will allow you to save space on your device by only capturing photos you need. Since I want to take the text from this image and save the photo in the notes app so I can refer back to it, I don't need the photo to appear in my camera roll. So I didn't save it there.